You know, it was a beautiful day in California, you know, like a warm day. And we were sitting outside in this uh, Mexican restaurant outside on this little terrace looking at the menu. And I looked at Jonathan and I realized something's up. He looks back and he, so I ask him like, what's going on? And he says, Shmaya, the wedding is off. So while I was busy preparing, like getting my dress, getting all the invitations, like the food, organizing the party, he told me, to, he told me, Shemaya, the wedding is off. And I look at him and like, what do you mean? You want to postpone it? He says, no, the wedding is off. Two years, two, two weeks before our wedding, he decided to break up. Well, I had just given up my life in Ecuador, where I was, uh, I was living in the mountains as uh, doing missionary work to be with him in California. I had given up my residency and basically also my business because the year before I had been very sick. I had a severe salmonella infection. And so I was we had really been struggling with my health. And he told me, you know what, don't worry, I'll nurture you back to health. You don't have to work. So basically here I was in California where I couldn't stay because I'm not a, a, an American citizen, basically ending up homeless with me and my suitcase, no business, no income and no savings left. And this is where LinkedIn came in. And uh, because I had in the past used it before. And a moment like this, when your life is really like basically collapsing and you're left with nothing, you know, you really feel like cud cuddling up under the blankets. But the only way to go out is to start communicating, to start reigniting, to building relationships. And that is what's so powerful about LinkedIn, that you build connections and relationships with people from all over the world you know, different companies, different industries. And that's why it's really exciting to see you all. I see people from Pakistan, India, Stockholm, like all over the world that we have the opportunity to connect with each other that can help you open new opportunities and new doors for your business. So welcome. I do highly recommend you stay till the end to really discover the formula to your LinkedIn lead generation system. I mean, we know LinkedIn is the biggest business network platform with over a billion users and it's really great but if those billion users if nobody knows that you're there if they don't know how your business how your company the services the products you provide can help them it's really not useful now as you can see this is why you're here um the built a powerful linkedin lead generation system to triple your sales with linkedin events and chat gpt and you can see that it really has been generating a lot of leads. We had over 35,380 people attending, registering for this, uh, for this event and attending. So welcome. My name is Shamaya. I'm a leadership consultant and LinkedIn strategist from beautiful Cape Town, South Africa. I'm the author of several book, best-selling books, Google Issues, Step Into Your Vision. Why we are here today is because I love to share with you a powerful LinkedIn lead generation system. It really is the formula to 3x your sales with LinkedIn events and ChatGPT. So to start, I'm very curious to see what brought you here today. Um, we have a quick poll, so I would love to have your answers. What, what brought you here today? Where are you? Which of these groups do you fall in? Your company needs to expand to the next level. Is it that you know there's money on LinkedIn? You just don't know how to find it yet? Are you frustrated, tired of struggling on your own? Or are you really motivated because you have an amazing service, a product that you really want to help more people with what you have to offer? So yes, I would love to see your answers in the poll. Your company needs to expand. You know you're not maximizing LinkedIn's potential. You're frustrated. You want to help more people. That is really beautiful. So different variations. The main one that we see in the poll, and please keep, keep giving your answers because I'd love to see is that you're not maximizing LinkedIn's potential. You know there's money, but how do you get that actually? And how do you benefit? And so it's really good that you're here because LinkedIn events are the answer to what you were looking for. Because let's face it, the future of your company depends on leads. They did a research, um, a, yes, to a survey to find out for small businesses, B2B software and consulting companies specifically, what's the biggest sales challenge they face? 81% has not enough leads to support the growth goals. 85% has no scalable lead generation system in place, resulting in stress, lack of expansion, or even worse, going out of business. Anybody can relate? 
And definitely feel free to share in the chat. I'd love for you to interact. As I said, I won't be able to respond, but we definitely look at it as well afterwards. Anybody can relate to this. Yeah, definitely. And that's why it's good you're here. And I'll share with you today how to get started on LinkedIn events. I give you the basis to just get started. And I'll also show you if you want to ex expedite if the process, if you want to fast track the results, what you can do and how we could potentially work together. So most of you are here, you have a profile, but it's not generating new business. It's just basically sitting there. If you have more than 3000 connections, but you have no idea how to monetize your connections. And you're getting frustrated because you lack a system to generate leads consistently and grow up sales. And basically you're missing out. And so I'm curious to see like how many connections do you have on LinkedIn? Would you put it in the chat for me just to get an idea? 9,000. Wow. There's a lot of business sitting in your LinkedIn network, but how do you get through them? 6,500. Some people are starting um, that is still small, 1,500, 500, 1,000, 20. You have a little bit of growing to do, but well done for showing up here because that is the first start, getting the knowledge and realizing, okay, how do I grow? 27,000, oh my gosh, you have so much money sitting in your LinkedIn event. And so who of you feels like this is you? You're basically throwing money away. You have these connections, you have this network, and you're actually not using it to grow your business. And that is the problem. So let me show you how to build your LinkedIn lead generation system by mastering LinkedIn events. So the first step is we want to find the gold in your LinkedIn network. Like I see here, Lokesh has 24,000 people, but who are the people that would be interested in working with you? How will they know? How do you message them and stay in touch with them? It's not so simple. But with LinkedIn events, it offers a new opportunity. Like the key, though, is, is to make sure that your event communicates clearly the problem that you solve for your prospects in a way that it shows that you have value to add, either by educating them on the problem or showing them like something that they don't know. In this case, Janelle Karish, she's an auction expert. So, yeah, she's also a realtor, but her um, LinkedIn event was about leveraging the power of real estate auctions. Learn how to increase your revenue and market share by adding auction as a tool to your toolbox. So the event was specifically designed for realtors because most people when they and, and realtors as well, when they hear auction, they think about foreclosure. In this case, she has a really amazing system developed that allows you to use uh, auctions to just get the highest uh, price for your house within the shortest time. But you can see why it's important to build your brand and to position yourself strongly. Like this was her LinkedIn profile before. A better way to buy and sell real estate, prestigeauction.com. You know, if you see this and somebody sends you a connection, inv invitation, um, connection invite, it looked that she's just another realtor. Well, actually, she does more, much more than that. And she can help realtors grow their, uh, grow their income. So we also changed her LinkedIn profile in making it generating more revenue for realtors. Luxury property auctions, highest price, fastest close. So it's very clear that if she now reaches out to realtors, that this is what she can help them with. This is very key in making sure that you turn your LinkedIn profile into a sales magnet. Cybersecurity shields your company against cyber threats in 2024. Again, this is Adrian Harper. He's a business technology expert. And we find the pain point that companies have, uh, the cyber threats. And he can, he can tell them, like, really give them value in what you can do to protect your company and at the same time offering an assessment and saying, okay, maybe we should look on a, on a personal base, what can be done for you. Now, this is where we started out. Now, you can see from this profile, it doesn't really say anything. And if your profile looks like this, I highly recommend you, you book a call with me um, for the event strategy, um, for an, a strategy call. And so we can have a look at what we can do because he's a business technology advisor. Like, how does that help? What can he do for you? Where here, once he got clarity on what is his message and really being able to communicate that, now when he starts sending connection requests and specifically he chose to work with law firms, protecting law firms, keep your law firm and clients safe from data, data breaches, hacks and hackers and viruses. So any law firm that has concerns will more likely to reach out to him and sign up for his event. So the question is, does your, do your profile and event attract your buyer persona? 
So do you communicate? If you look on LinkedIn, if you get connection requests and often like people book calls and like I read their profile and I have no idea what it is they actually do or offer. It sounds good, but it's just, it, it doesn't communicate. You want to stand out from the crowd as the expert. There are a lot of profiles, which is great because it offers opportunity, but it also um, makes can make it difficult because you're competing with a lot of people doing the same what you do. So how can you convey trust and credibility? You want to make sure that you grow your network with LinkedIn events by expanding and inviting more and more people. So you attract quality prospects, generate more leads, and of course, book more sales calls and more sales. So now let's look at where does ChatGPT come in? Let's really quickly review for people that are new and not so familiar with ChatGPT or Gemini or one of the other um, AIs yet. A prompt is the question or instruction you give. This is really key. In order to get good results, your prompt must be specific and accurate. It should include the role, the context, the writing style, the brand tone and voice, so you can get better responses. So let's look at the prompt for LinkedIn event. And this is a very, very valuable prompt because you can use it for LinkedIn, for your profile, for the event, for content, but also for your, all your marketing, actually. We are using this a lot. So we're going to have this specific prompt. And if you didn't download the worksheet yet, um, Kyra just put the link in the chat. I am going to close up the poll. Uh, the results are that most people... No, they're not maximizing LinkedIn's potential. So that is very interesting to see. Kara, I think that you can finish the poll for us, please. Um, I'm going to open. So yes, in the meantime, maybe you can let me know if you have downloaded the worksheet. That would be good. And I'm going to pull it up on my screen. Um, am I? And here is the chat GPT and how you can use it. So what you do when you go and you have that, um, one second, because somehow we closed it up. When you have that uh, Google Doc, you want to make a copy. Obviously, you can't edit the document, um, the standard template, but make a copy for yourself. One second. I will use actually this one. This is a great example that we use in clarifying. Yeah. Yes. So what you do is the bracketed portion below you, that's where you put in your own information. So you see, we customize it. So here you go. If you're not familiar, you can go to file, click here, make a copy. So you can do that. And then you obviously you give it your own name. Then you have your own copy. So this becomes your own worksheet. And then here in the bracketed section, you very specifically mention what it is that you do for clients, like what results do you bring? Because the more specific you are here, the better also the outcome will be in uh, the results that you get from clients. So in this case, it's a virtual assistant company that offers skilled, reliable virtual assistants who are managed by them, who can assist with a variety of tasks, including lead generation, all of that virtual assistant company. Then you copy this whole section. You copy this into ChatGPT in this action here. Yeah, come. And then it will give you like the very valuable information. And not only does it give you the information and the insights, you give ChatGPT at the same time that information. So it has a much better understanding who you want to target. And then from here, you can use the other, um, the other uh, prompts that are provided to get a much better understanding about who do you talk to, what are their, their pain points. You see, this is a pain. Um, and because then we can also check, like, this, is this what clients tell you? Like, we want to look at what's the pain point what is the, 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 basically the button that the emotional charge for people, either they're overwhelmed, they have a problem, they have a pain, or maybe they have a dream, something that they really want to achieve. In this case, and we went over this, one of the key things that he says, yeah, what we hear the most from people that sign up with them, from his current clients, from prospects, they're overwhelmed with daily tasks, lack of time to focus on the growth strategies. And the biggest pain they have is they want to have more leads. So 
those are the key things. They want more leads, but are overwhelmed with the daily tasks. So they lack time to focus on growth strategies. They don't really have time to, for expansion, for lead generation. And so when you use the other uh, prompts as well, it will give you more detail, like the pains. From there, find out what makes you unique and who, how can you combine the pain of your buyer persona with the value that you can bring that is unique to you. And if you have any questions, am I not sharing my screen? You are sharing. They just say it is fuzzy. Um, oh, if you can okay. zoom a little bit in. Yeah, not, I don't know if there's anything. That, it looks clear on my side. I do apologize for that. Let me see if I go back to the PowerPoint. Uh, screen sharing is fine. Okay, thank you. Screen is good. Okay, thank you. I'm very happy to let you know. Thank you. I'm glad to hear. That's good. Thank you for the input. I appreciate that. So start with that and use that to find, like, what's the pain point and how can you provide a unique angle for prospects that will position you as the expert shows that you have value to bring and also will draw in people to you to find out more. So here's an example. Like, meet Matthew. He did an event. He started inviting people from his connections. So we, like many of you have thousands of connections. If you can start people um, in sending invitations, people will raise their hand and say, listen, I'm interested in what you have to offer. In this case, he had 100 people registered, 28 people attended. And of the 28, he booked several sales calls and closed one new client for $12,000. Now, how many of you would say like, you know what, if you would do an event once a month, and if you're, especially if you're a small business owner or a solopreneur, a coach, consultant, if you have one new client for $12,000, would say like, okay, that would make a tremendous impact on your yearly revenue, on the lifestyle and the expansion of your company. How, how many of you by show of hands would really make a difference? I would love to see. Thank you. And great for having your camera on. I do really appreciate it. Yes, I can see. And then also keep in mind, it's not only the one client, he still had 99 leads to close later. There are still 99 people that were not ready to buy today, but yet when you stay in touch, as you know, the money is in the follow-up, there is still more sales in the 99 leads. It's people that are saying, hey, I'm interested in what you have to offer. And he didn't pay a dime for ads. So basically his LinkedIn event generated $12,000 in initial sales. And over time, he actually closed more people. So let's hear it from Matthew himself so he can tell you. I sent out, uh, I think, a thousand connections. We had about a hundred uh, actually register, and we got one sale out of it. Uh, since I'm selling a very high ticket, five figure um, B two B system, um, it's between ten and twelve thousand dollars. Just getting that one client from uh, the process was was really like a, a big big win. And I also have. Uh, about 99 other people to follow up with that now know about uh, the product. So that just shows what's possible. Now, there's different people. You may have different businesses. You may not have such a high-end package, but it just shows what's possible. And as you know, LinkedIn is best for B2B or if you were selling business to consumer, if it's a more high-end and hence program. Down. So if this is something that you would like to have, find out more, um, and you already know you're one of those people that says, okay, just show me, I'm ready, let's move. One of the action takers, you want your own LinkedIn lead generation system without having to figure it out by yourself, without making expensive mistakes, without feeling overwhelmed and frustrated, without wasting hours and hours on LinkedIn. Um, feel free to book a strategy call. I usually work with companies that are already have an existing business. They're already usually generating six figures a year because then LinkedIn is best to scale. If you're not at this stage yet and you feel like, okay, but my company has potential, you can, I will review and see if, it's, if, if it could be a good fit that we can actually evaluate and find out, okay, what is the next step for you? Number two, we're going to look into turn connections into sales. This is a great quote. Edward Deming was an economist who was instrumental in rebuilding Japan. He's, he said 94% of failure is the result of the system, not the people. So if you're here, if you're one of the people that spent like months and months paying Sales Navigator or premium subscription and realized, well, it didn't actually bring me any results. 
something's wrong, it's true. What's missing is not it's nothing wrong with you. It's the result of the system and the knowledge. And like, how do you build a system? How do you actually use LinkedIn? Because Sales Navigator is great. I love it. We use it a lot. But you need to use, like with any tool, you need to know how to use it. So this is what will show you the machine that we're going to build, LinkedIn Event Mastery, how to build your LinkedIn lead generation system. And as you can see, I mentioned before, I showed you the examples, is we want to create the LinkedIn event. But the core of everything is your LinkedIn profile. You have to make sure your LinkedIn profile positions you as the expert and clearly communicates what do you do to help. What is the result when people decide to work with you? If they give you money, what is the outcome that you bring for them? This is really, really vital. There's a key, uh, few key things in your LinkedIn profile, which definitely is your header, the cover, a good profile picture, and the about section. Because this will allow you to build your network and the people that come and look at your profile, that they will see like, ah, this is somebody I want to connect with. For sure, if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, people will not take you seriously. Your connection acceptance rate will like definitely drop significantly. LinkedIn events, if, if you fill the LinkedIn event from your LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn allows you to send 1,000 connection requests per week to your existing connections. So it's really important that you build your profile and that this is really where you connect with, with people. Then from the LinkedIn event, as I said, you have the opportunity like now we have how many people? Yes, almost 400 people here that have the opportunity to say, okay, how do I use LinkedIn events? to actually then book sales calls, eight to 10 sales calls per week, grow your database and generate sales. Because as you've noticed, you need to um, give you, provide your email address so we can send you the Zoom link to join. So even though maybe today you're ready and say, yes, let me book a strategy call. I'm ready to move forward. Maybe it's not today. Maybe it's next week or next month. You know, I can still continue to provide you value, to invite you to events, to host webinars. And maybe, maybe like in three months or six months, you say, okay, now I'm ready. I would love to work with you. It's perfect. It's a perfect way to generate new clients. And also one of the things is really fascinating. A lot of clients tell me that existing clients or old clients either tend to buy more or like sleeping clients are waking up because suddenly they see you coming by, you're providing value, um, they're learning from you and yeah, you're back on the radar with them. Here is another example. And I'm showing you these examples to see like, okay, how do you, how do, you do it? Make sure that your banner for your event has a clear title, supercharge your productivity, get rid of brain fog and fatigue. Make sure it's clear that it explains who it's ideally for, time, obviously date. And you can see Dr. Chris, he doesn't have a B2B product. He works with uh, consumers, but it was a high-end high -end program uh, that he offered. And you can see how the leads are coming in. So we have it set up that it's automated that we can see as leads coming in, like who are the people, which countries, we have the email, uh, and then in case we have different titles, you can see what title they signed up for. And here is a real life, life example of how he did it. Because as I mentioned, there's different business models. He was business to consumer. He does high-end health and detox programs. And he's a medical doctor. And obviously he's like, yeah, I don't want to do free, free uh, consultations because I'm just going to talk to people all day, every day. Who doesn't want to talk to a doctor for free? So he was selling an initial consultation for $197. And his target really was to get paying prospects, not just free people that do the discovery calls. For LinkedIn, it does work best though. If you just offer an assessment, an evaluation, it's like I'm offering you. If you have a business, you're struggling, things are not working out, or maybe you've done content on LinkedIn, you've updated your profile and you just don't understand why you're not getting momentum. If you have an existing business, yeah, feel free. I'm happy to do the evaluation for you or the LinkedIn strategy, uh, mapping out your LinkedIn strategy. In his case, he did a consultation and then he upselled based on a consultation. And that's the question. Doing events, it's not difficult. I will show you how to set it up. You can do it tonight, like tonight. It's really easy. But how do you run profitable events? You really have to apply my success formula because there's a lot of moving parts that determine whether it actually is going to monetize or not. In Dr. Chris's example, Dr. Chris Neveling, 48 people showed up live for the event. He closed five new clients at 197 for the initial consultation. So that was $985. And then one person purchased the 7,500 programmed upsell. So basically from this, from this event, and that was not the other like 43 leads you could follow up with, and the other four clients you could have closed as well over time, 
he basically made 8485 in initial sales. So quite good return on the investment for doing events. So I'm sure that many of you, like $8,500 a month extra, like would, be, would definitely make an income, a difference, sorry. So let's look at how are we going to do that. We're going to deploy the income formula. This is key for anything, whether you do it with LinkedIn or Facebook or email. The key is if you want to increase your income, you need to apply the income formula. What's the income formula? Communication out plus intention equals communication in equals income. Just think about it. If you would send out like now tonight, 100 text messages to friends, family or prospects, if you send 100 messages, obviously people are going to respond to you because income can be anything. It doesn't have to be money. It can be friendships, money, love, kisses, anything you want. But the more communication you put out with the intention, intention to help, communication will come back, which will result in income. And as this is a business uh, training, we are going to stick with the money part. And that's where that uh, the income formula comes in. We want to start, and I know I've asked this before, like what's more important, quantity or quality? Well, I understand they're both. You don't want to put in junk. You don't want to spam people, I understand. But you want to start with good messages, but not making them perfect, but starting with quantity, because that will allow you to determine the quality that you can improve the quality over time. But the quality is determined not by what you think is what's pretty or what you think is like a beautiful message, but it's actually based on statistics in what is the um, uh, like the message that gets the best results, which is why I will show you a little later. It's good to be able to measure if you send 100, 200 connection requests per week, you want to know how many people accept your connection request. Because if it's very low, you need to decide, okay, maybe my message is not working. Maybe my profile is not clear. Maybe, you know, there can be different factors. But if you don't know, you, you can't improve over time. But start with quantity. If you're not sending connection requests now, start with 100 a week. If you're not sending messages, start sending messages. You can easily send, especially if you've been active, like 50, 70, 80 messages per day. Just imagine if you start sending 80 messages a day, it's like 560 a week. Okay, you take off the weekend, let's say 500, 2,000 messages per week. You just need to make sure you follow up, you stay consistent, and over time, improve the quality. And be genuinely willing to help. Keep in mind, people want to do business. They're looking for connections, opportunities. They're looking for solutions for their problems. But nobody likes to be sold. How many messages did you get in your spam? Then somebody saying, hey, I'll do your website. I'll do SEO. I'm like, okay, please. But if you connect with them from the viewpoint, like, hey, I have this solution. Is this something that you could benefit from? People are very willing to have that conversation with you or even refer you somebody. So write to them as if you're talking to a good friend. Make it personable. Like if you write it, make it as if you're either if you're talking or if you're just texting your, your best friend. From the perspective, like I want to help. And this is what LinkedIn discovered. Like when and this is related to email, so that's the paid version um, the paid messages, but obviously the principle is the same also for the free messages. If you have the uh, length of the email, so the number of characters is between 201 and 400, you have a 16% higher um, response rate than average, where the longer your message is, you can see very obviously that the response rate goes down. Here, if you have a long, you know, if you write the whole book, people are less likely to respond like the response rate is 18% less than average. And this is what I mentioned. So when you sent out connection requests, it's really great if you can measure it. So this was one of the clients after updating his LinkedIn profile. Um, he had the 53% acceptance rate of his connections, which is very high because on average, if you're doing good, it's like between 15 and 20 percent so that was way more but you'll also see here why it's important not to just send one message but to continue he replied after connecting was 50 percent but you can see that connected and responded to connector message was only 2.7 percent most people respond to a follow-up message so what we do in the system in the linkedin lead generation machine that i show you there is a machine that sends messages um, and of course they're your personal messages but if somebody doesn't respond Next week, they get like a little um, a nudge from you again. Or next week, you give them a little bit a tip or give them some value so that you stay in front of them. I mean, as you know, the LinkedIn inbox is not so well organized. So 
it's easy for you to get forgotten at the bottom. So that's key. When you do it correctly, you can have results like you see here with Sean Tanner from Esther. He had, As a result, 50, we had calls about 50 calls booked within about two months, and one of which became a very massive potential strategic partner that we're in early talks on, and it's going very, very well, uh, which would roll us out to probably a good percentage of the largest uh, property management company in the United States, which has been a huge deal for us. Which is really, really amazing. And that's it too. It's leads, but it's also opportunities. I have clients and they say we're very excited because the LinkedIn event not only generated leads and booked meetings, they also got invited to uh, to speak at the big event. So that was very cool as well. So if this is something that you're interested in, if you would like to book more sales calls, grow your network daily without you having to spend hours on LinkedIn, engage with those who signed up for your event, share your knowledge, become the expert in your industry and really experience the joy of helping more people with your product or service. I invite you to book a strategy call with me so we can map out your strategy and I'll have a quick look at your LinkedIn profile at your company and discover like what is, what is the next step? I know there's people here like you're looking for a solution, but LinkedIn actually is not the answer. That does happen. I cannot sell you a program if it doesn't work for you. So then we will evaluate and say, okay, what is actually needed in your company? And for other businesses, this is the right next step to say, okay, we really want to optimize LinkedIn to expand and to take our company to the next level. So you really have two options. You can get started now. You know, people like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, these are the action takers. They go, they don't wait and think about it and like sleep on it and go ask permission. They see an opportunity. They know that the way to succeed in life is to take action, is to participate in the game, to make things happen. Or you can continue spinning your wheels, keep spinning your wheels on your own, trying to figure out, okay, what's not working? What do I have to do? So I'm offering to meet with you to offer this free strategy call. I would take advantage of it. If nothing else, you would still get to experience the value and feedback on things that you can improve. Okay, transform your profile into a lead machine. LinkedIn event mastery, your LinkedIn lead generation system. What is the benefit of LinkedIn events? It's a great opportunity to build your brand and grow profit, to share your knowledge and get paid, to generate 20 to 100 plus leads effortlessly every single month consistently, without having to pay for ads, grow your email list and your income, and of course, generate sales and expand your business. So here are some other ex um, examples just for you to get an idea, like how does it work? What's possible? This is Bijal Palmer. He offers a virtual assistant service. Again, we did redesign his, um, you know, it's not always needed to have all of this in here, but it does clearly communicate what he does. Lead gen, sales support, social media, and other time consuming busy work. He can help you with the offered experience, vetted virtual assistant starting at $5 per hour. And he actually just had his first event, um, uh, first event scheduled for July 31st. He just started and he already, he had 30, 73 people registered for his event. You can see that when we did um, the buyer persona, what people wanted is they feel overwhelmed, but what really businesses and specifically his target market are, are coaches and, and consultants, they want to increase leads and sales. So that's what virtual assistants can help you with. So his training specifically is designed to show them what they can do um, to increase leads and sales using virtual assistant. Here is another great example from Okara Shaba with Pado Care. It's a very specific industry, health industry um, in, in the UK that he offers. And even he had the future of NHS care, AI's impact on your CQC rating. Exactly. Like CQC rating is specifically for the UK where um, healthcare, like nursing homes and things like that are rated, like how they perform. And he did very well with, with filling it up in a fairly shortly, short period of time. And then combined with a strong content strategy. This is one of the things, if you don't know, you look at your post and you wonder, like I have one or two likes, what's happening? Where if you know the strategy and you understand how LinkedIn works, like we did here with, with Okare, he had 10, 000, over 10,000 likes 
499 comments and 1174 reposts. So he's doing very well. Not all of them, as you can see. I mean, this is still very good, 78 comments. But this this one was exceptionally uh, well perceived. So let's now go into the practical in the meet. If you have never done a LinkedIn event, as I said, it's very simple to set up. You can start today. There are more <laughs> components to it to make it successful, but at least get started. You know, get um, get going. You go to your company page. This is one of the things that's important. You want to set it up on your company page, not on your on your personal page, as it allows people to register for it. And a LinkedIn event basically is a feature on LinkedIn that allows you to promote your, your webinar, your training, your workshop. It can be also a live training or workshop. It just works better when it's online because then people from all over the world can attend. But it works also very well if, you have, if you're local and you really have a local network and people you want to put together. And LinkedIn allows you to promote it on their platform, which is great because there's a lot of people there. So then you go to your company page, you click on create. And this is one of the things, because when I mention it to you, I, if you already know, like it makes sense. But if you didn't know, I've had people that said that they created the LinkedIn event on their personal page and just wondered like, okay, but I'm not building my list. Yeah, you can't. You can only do that when you set it up on your company page. You click on create. Then here it will open up. You can create, start a post, create an event, obviously. And then once you've created your event, you want to start, so you have the, the title of your event, the date, and then once you have your e event set up, you want to use the share button here so you can invite uh, the people that you are connected with. And you can sort them. You can say, I want people in the US, in Canada, in India, depending on where you are and where you want to target on. You can also invite group members. So in the case with Janelle, she didn't have a really big network, so we wanted to go beyond her existing network and invite more people. Um, so we looked in a group that has real estate professionals is that who she was targeting. And then you can um, join the group and invite them. You can message them even though they're not your first degree connection. As you can see, this is third degree connections. On LinkedIn, uh, you can message people that are first degree connections and you can send connection requests to your second and third degree connections. In this case, you can just message people in a group when you share it. So that's also kind of a cool way to promote. Another cool way to promote is to target relevant events. Like we're looking for people that fit your audience. Like where do they hang out? In this case, there was an event on AI tools, future of marketing. So this could have been a great event for me to join. And then to say, you know what, who are people in this that are attending this event? Because I know they're interested in AI. Um, I can either send them a connection request or I can send them a message to invite them. But this is also a great way for prospecting, even if you won't do the whole LinkedIn event strategy, but you want to generate, you know, leads from LinkedIn, go to other events, go to groups, find where people are uh, hanging out that have a common interest. Okay, here we again, going back, just to refresh your memory to the LinkedIn event mastery, uh, your LinkedIn event lead generation system. So we looked at setting up the event, and we also looked at the profile and how the two come together, where you build your profile, you grow your network, you send out messages, um, you invite people to your event. And what you'll see happening, and like all of you here, I did not invite you. LinkedIn promoted you, promoted my event, or somebody referred or posted, reposted my event. And so now a lot of my network actually has really grown exponentially because my LinkedIn event is such a success because people find me instead of me promoting. And that allows me to book eight to 10 sales calls. In our case, we actually doing way more than that because our events are very successful. Like today also, like we have hundreds of people attending, growing the database, generating sales, resulting in new clients and existing clients buying more. And, and that really is the answer. So as I mentioned, you can do it. It's not a problem to set up your event. You can find YouTube videos, you can Google it, but it's like going from New York to LA in a, in a buggy and with a horse. It's going to take you a while. It's not the most comfortable ride and it's really, really slow. But on the other hand, if you join LinkedIn Event Mastery, I can show you the shortcut. You can come with me. Like It's like flying in a private jet. It's much faster, more enjoyable and so much more fun. So anyone who wants to fly in my jet, by show of hands, anybody? 
So that's what I would invite you to do is to take the fast track. We have a program. It's a comprehensive training consisting of 18 recorded modules. We have a monthly live implementation group coaching call, exclusive access to WhatsApp groups. So in case you have anything, we're there. We really want to support you and you don't have to wait the whole month. If you have a quick question to ask, we provide you with the templates for LinkedIn uh, message invitations, the whole strategy automation, the tools that you need and how to set it all up, how to integrate it, and then access to the training and the latest LinkedIn updates and much more. The key components, what you want to do in order to set this all up, whether you do it with me or by yourself or someone else, is you first want to design your LinkedIn lead generation system in mapping out um, the strategy, the strategy in what is the event going to be about? Who do you want to target? Who is your buyer persona? Making sure your LinkedIn profile is really sharp, clear, clearly communicates who you are, what you do. Then you start building your LinkedIn lead generation machine. In this case, we have different tools that build, that fill the events, that send messages, and also that follow up to make people show up. Phase three is engage to maximize show up and conversion. Phase four is the formula of profitable events. Because we've had people that did events and they had a lot of people, but they actually didn't book meetings. It's like somehow something's not working. So what are the key components of running a successful event? And what do you do to turn those leads into sales conversations? If people are interested, how do you actually get them on their calendar? And the powerful yet little known LinkedIn hacks that make all the difference. As you saw, I saw it with Okara with the content. You see it here in my event. There's the little known things that once you understand how LinkedIn works and how LinkedIn thinks, obviously LinkedIn doesn't think, but kind of, um, it will really help you get exponential results. We offer a zero risk guarantee. If you're accepted into the program, you do the actions, you're willing to be coached and you continue to communicate with us, you simply can't fail. We will work with you to guarantee you generate 20 to 50 plus leads per month. It's a, it's a 12 month program. So basically you'll, you'll know you have at least 250 leads at the end of the year. And the question is, if not this, then what? If not me, then who? If not now, then when? I am sure you've attended other LinkedIn events about LinkedIn. You've looked around, you've thought about it. The question is, when are you gonna take action? Because if you start now, you start planting the seeds, you will be able to harvest. But if you're still gonna wait, like three months from now, six months from now, you will be in the same spot, if not worse. Now, who agrees that LinkedIn is a gold mine? Who can see the potential? Yeah, definitely. Show of hands. Uh, I just want to see. Uh, what is the cost? I will look into some of the questions shortly. Actually, I can do that right now. Uh, I don't know if you see the chat. Can I download? Okay, good. I would like to fly. Fatima, I'm very happy to hear. Um, I would love to fly with you too. I definitely invite you to book a meeting and connect with me. Uh, Lindsay, I would love to uh, connect with you. Kara will set the link in the, in the chat so you can follow up. How often are you having these LinkedIn events? It again, it kind of depends on your strategy. Like you can do them. I have clients and do them. They do, they do them every two weeks and then they have different topics. I usually do them every three or four weeks. That really gives you time to fill them up. It also depends if you like smaller groups. I have clients that prefer to have just 10, 15 people. It's more like a workshop. It's a different strategy than presenting for a big group. One per month is definitely a good idea. It gives you time to fill them up. And also to follow up with the leads because doing events is one thing. But if you don't do anything with the leads... I don't know if you know, they had this research that they did where like all over the world, they were, they measured the results and saying, okay, what is happening with leads and the follow-up? And they discovered that 80% of the sales, and this is just this little companies, this big companies, Microsoft, like big companies internationally, 80% of the sales happens after the 12th to 14th follow-up. If you don't follow up, you're leaving money on the table. So yes, LinkedIn generates the leads, but you need to build the relationship. You need to engage with them. You need to show them how you can help, bring them value. Um, Hamza, that's amazing. 11,000 connections. There is definitely gold sitting in your, in your network. Thank you, Heath, for joining us. 
Can you have your guests share to their network? Yes, for sure. That's another great strategy. You can ask other people um, to invite people because they also can invite thousand um, guests, thousand people to your event. ChatGPT was a clear activation again. Samia, I'm happy to do that. Just please stay on. So I just want to get through the, the presentation and most of the main questions. And then definitely, if you want to show us, stay on at the end, I can answer more of your questions and show you through and even go through some examples with you. Um, yeah, we will send a recording with you. Do you need to have a website? Karen, it's a good question. The, the question is, yeah, it's good to have people look it up. But if you have a strong LinkedIn profile, if you... Um, use the, the strategies that we, we have here to get actually engagement with people, the websites are not as important as they used to be. Like I have a, a friend and he does a lot of corporate consulting and he says corporations, they will not click on the link for your website because of, of security and they will go to LinkedIn because it's a, like a safe a safe link. But websites, usually they won't even click on just because they're too concerned um, for security purposes. So you don't. What you do need is a strong profile and a good strategy and a clear message. Um, can this be applied to someone building a personal brand till they go to market with their brand? Yeah, Jack Ruti, it's great. I just don't. It, it kind of depends on what do you mean with building a personal brand. So if it's really letting people know how you can help and giving them value, yeah, for sure. Um, and until you're ready to say, okay, I have something to sell, it's a great way to start like promoting you know, I mean, Apple, Disney, they start promoting long before they actually bring the new movie out or have their products out. So you can definitely do that. And we also have leadership training programs. For sure, you can reach out to me and email me and we can uh, go more into that. Um, classically, would say seven touch point before a buy decision. Interesting is more LinkedIn. Yeah, it, it kind of depends if, where the, the person comes from, of course, because if you have somebody that's already warm or interested in what you have to offer, it's a little different. This was like done worldwide on a broad scale. And and also, I think that over time, people need more um, follow up and more attention because there's just so much distraction happening than what it used to be. Uh, na, na, na. People are interesting. Um, this means you don't have a sales space. Basically, your LinkedIn. Yes, Karen, that's correct. It's the best way, the easiest way to get started. Honestly, I yeah, you, you don't really need much. What you need is leads. Because once you have leads, you can close them. You can get on a call. Of course, it depends also on your business model. Um, some people do want to you know read up on the program. Yeah, I do have a page. But it really is the core in, in the message and having people that want to want to um, find out more about what you have. Like, what's the problem that you solve for them? And you could see, for those of you who are in the beginning, like um, we did, she did, I um, can't think of her name right now, but she was sharing that just updating her profile, she had five meetings booked just in the first week working with me. So it really shows the potential that it offers. Um, Len, can you clarify with me what you mean with a market share with the participant? Like, if you would participate or like somebody that wants to do LinkedIn events, I'm not clear on the question. So if you can clarify, I would love to answer that. Um, Mary, when did you create this event? Well, we do the, the events monthly, but I've been doing them like definitely over nine months, every month. And as you do them, they you, you improve, you change, you learn. So that's why now people that get started, they get much faster head start because... Um, a lot of the things I've already figured out. So you won't have to make the same mistake and lose as much time. Anybody else? Um, I think these were the funnel-like webs. Mary, oh uh, yeah, Normal West is not the best funnel-like website. Works awesome. It can definitely work. I do agree. It is very good. Even now you can book an appointment, but I I can see if you have an, you book an appointment or you can just buy first something else, um, it definitely would work. Um, okay. Uh, no, LinkedIn is promoting my fans. It's organically because it's been such a popular event and people are sharing it. And so LinkedIn promotes everything that it considers people find valuable. So if you have really good content, specific content that, that meets the LinkedIn's algorithms, they will want to share it with more people because it contributes to the community. So that's why I'm not paying any, any promotion. I don't. 
I do have um, still tools where the automation tools that we do pay for, because we do want to expand, we want to target specific industries, we want to target specific people. So then, yes, we will do promotion using um, LinkedIn outreach, LinkedIn connections, LinkedIn messages, emails. We definitely do that, but we don't pay for promoting. You can, though. It's, there's nothing wrong with, like, if you do uh, boost your event, you can grow it faster. Right? It's not necessary to get started because in the beginning, there's so much, like, you want to figure out. You want to have your presentation clear. You want to have your, your offer clear. You want to have your, your um, system, your process. If you don't have that in place, you just want to start with that. If you already have a company, like I had this one company and they have like five or eight salespeople already, they're established, then yes, for sure, you can start running LinkedIn events, set it up to the first two or three, and then boost and ads to make it grow even faster. Uh, Suroi, thank you for joining again. I definitely appreciate you. That is so beautiful. Thank you for sharing. You just made my day. That is really nice. Uh, Lindsay, do you have a VA would help with this? Yes, Kyra Lee, she is on the call with us here today. She is my superstar. I, she is the VA. She's a vital assistant, not just a virtual assistant. She is vital for the company, for the growth, and for all of you who decide to work with us. Uh, Kyra is the superstar behind the scenes that make miracles happen. So I'm definitely very happy with her. I have other people on the team as well for different tasks because I love being different places and how with internet, everything's possible. So yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, it just saves you a lot of time. It, it works so well. How many followers do you typically need before the LinkedIn events? Victoria, you can start at any time. I would recommend if you would have at least two to 3,000 connections, it would help. But I had a client and she only had a few hundred connections. And yet she managed, like she had other people help her invite. We built her network. We invited people from groups, as I showed you. So you can invite people that you are with a group. If you have Sales Navigator, you can invite, you can send another 800 free emails so that are messages to other paid Sales Navigator clients. So you can still send out a lot. Obviously, if you have 10, 20,000 connections, you'll grow much faster. That makes sense, of course, but there's still a lot you can do and you can just start. But two to 3,000, I would say, would be ideal because that will help you fit, fill the first events much quicker. And again, as I said, if you have other people that have a big network, they can help you promote. Um, automation tools are also shared during the sessions. I want to build a lead gen system and include live events on LinkedIn. And see, yes, we do have automation tools. If you mean the sessions like you mean today or you mean like when we do the program, I will show you how to use them. Because again, it's like a tool. But just because you have a brush, it doesn't make you Picasso. You need to know how to use the tool effectively and successfully. Um, and that will be good. Live events on LinkedIn are great. They just serve a different purpose than LinkedIn events. It's not the same. It's a different tool. Different tools have different purposes for different results. So it's a different strategy. LinkedIn events, you want to generate leads. And if you do a LinkedIn live, people come and go. They may or may not see it, but you don't, you can't capture their, their contact information. You don't know who they are. When now, all of you here, I know... Um, like, you know, your job title, I know the company, you know, the country, I have your email address. So all this data, obviously we can use because you're going to hear from us again, just so you know. Um, and if you don't want it, it's okay too. You press the unsubscribe and totally, totally okay with me too. Because I actually have an avalanche of lunch, uh, leads uh, to follow up with. Um, but if you do LinkedIn lives, it's good. It's good for promotion, but then use it to promote, to share a message and fill up your LinkedIn event. And the LinkedIn event, which is also great, is people show up, they put it on their calendar, it's a training, it's dedicated to be there together rather than just somebody scrolling. Yes, we will share the recording. Thank you for asking, Manaf and Jay, no problems. I see events created over one year, what do you think? Um, I don't understand the questions, Mary, or what do I think about what? What do you think about building email lists, Karen? Money is still in the email list because people are still opening their emails. It's more required. It, you know, again, it requires a different skill, writing copy, um, sending good offers, providing value, but you definitely, definitely want to build email list. And it's something you own. Like I'm very well aware and I have a few strategies that I use that at any time, if LinkedIn doesn't like me, they can just close my account and I would lose my whole network. It's possible. That's why I collect email addresses of all my LinkedIn network so that I can still earn as much. Not everybody, but most of them 
that I still have that opportunity to stay in touch with them. I need that, please. Um, I don't know what that is. I maybe a recording. Uh, uh, uh. Linked elf Calendly. I don't. I know Calendly. I don't know Linked Elf. So if you can tell me what it is, we can have a look. Um, Fatima, you are very welcome. Thank you for joining, and happy to see that it was valuable. Um, how many followers do you typically need before the LinkedIn events? As I said, I you ideally you would have two to three thousand uh, people that you're connected to with our strategies around it. Actually, there's another really cool strategy that I can't share with you that even if you don't have a lot of connections, there's things you can do to fill your event. It may take a little bit more time to build. Obviously, if you have the connections, it's helpful. But even if you don't, there's a lot of things we can do. Um, company page, good question. The company page is good to have. It gives you social brief. You do want to build it and put some content there. But really, people connect with people. It's a social platform. So mostly company page are more used for employees if you're hiring. And yeah, it's not as effective because it doesn't have the personal connection. So highly recommend it to, to use it to set up your event, but not necessarily um, like to use that to build, to, to use that as your core strategy. Let's put it that way. Automation is to help with the leads. Yes, that's correct. It's automation is to help with the leads and follow up and all of that. Because I'm sure that nobody on this call was like, you know what? I have two hours left in a day. What am I going to do? You know, let me go and send connection requests, follow up messages on LinkedIn for two hours a day. Now, obviously, with the automation tool and the, and the outreach, people will reach back on in, but then at least you know there's people interested. Is there a place you can see all LinkedIn events? Yeah, on LinkedIn, you can go and look for LinkedIn events. Jay, you are very welcome. Um, I do have leadership training. I mean, they promote the event for one year. Ah, yes, 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 definitely. That is that is definitely possible. Um, how can I understand the needs of clients on LinkedIn? Well, that's what I mentioned. And I think that for you, if you already have an existing business and something you're selling, the strategy call could be valuable because... Um, uh, you have to find out like what is what is your message, who's your target, what problem do you solve for them? Live LinkedIn events or recorded. John, I prefer live because you're here, it's personal, it's engaged, it's much more engagement. The recorded can be done, it's good, but your conversion rate will always always be lower. Is it typical for B2B clients to be incentivized to buy complex services like recruitment? I don't understand the question why they would buy complex services if they don't need it. Um, yes, you use your personal page to grow your network, to send invitations, to connect with people, and then you use your company page to set up the event. So yes, you should have both. Let's see. That's a good. That's a good question. Thank you, Ronald. I'm happy to hear. I do enjoy um, sharing because it just made such a difference in my life. Ah, okay. How do you put emails from LinkedIn events into autoresponders? Very good. There's different ways you can do that. You can export them. We have it actually set up in, in a machine, a LinkedIn machine. Um, actually, I should go to the next slide here. That you can that you can uh, integrate it so it automatically goes. So you, you would use Zapier for that. So if you would like to turn your LinkedIn profile into a sales method, generate leads consistently in autopilot, don't pay a dime for ads, and make a difference in the lives of more people. By growing sales and creating new opportunities, um, I would highly recommend to, in, to, take up, to take me up on my invitation to meet for a strategy call, to map out your LinkedIn strategy and to evaluate and see, is this actually what you need in your business? Because it may not be the right step for you. Like, what does it take to get your results? That's what I truly care about. Andrea, here is the link. So if you can please click the link and you find, it, find the time that works for you. That would be the best way to book a consulting. Uh, Durga, thank you very much. Thank you for joining. Uh, any part to play in generating leads? Sure, yeah, LinkedIn newsletters are great. Definitely highly recommended. It's it's very valuable. It also positions you at the experts. Um, it you know it, it generates interest. It's very very good. It's not the core of this program. Like we really focus on LinkedIn events first. But then everything like content, newsletters, 
everything will help you grow. But we do it in stages so you're not overwhelmed from the beginning. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> oh, you are so sweet. Chiradeep, you are very welcome. Can we email you to set up a strategy call? You can, Raymond, but the best way to do is actually to click the link that Kara set in there for you. Kara Lee said in Leadership Mastery Strategy Call, it will be a lot, um, yeah, a lot easier and much faster. Okay, good. You see it. Okay, Raymond, I look forward to meeting you. Set up the call. That will be really great. Also, I get a lot, a lot of messages. So if you get a spot on the calendar right now, it's better to just book it right here. LinkedIn Sales Navigator, what is it? Is it a functionality that I should have? I set up a call with you on Tuesday. Ah, William, I look forward to the call. We'll definitely go in. I can give, I can show you. LinkedIn Sales Navigator is LinkedIn's paid membership and it allows you to segment and to find people. So for example, um, you can say, I want to find all the photographers in Florida. Or you can say, I want all the business owners that have been in business for longer than, that have had this uh, position for longer than five years. Or I want to reach out to the... Uh, marketing managers so it allows you to target more specifically now while that's great if you have a whole list of all the um, all the consultants for example in new york now you need to go one by one and message them so with the system that we have we all, it allows you to actually use sales navigator to make it much more efficient so using it more efficient way of your time so that people are interested when they sign up for your linkedin event you know where to focus your efforts because there are so many people um, with a title perhaps. So how do you know where to focus on? Well, you start with the people that sign up for your event because you know they're raising their hand and saying, hey, I'm interested in what you have to offer. And over time, I actually checked, I probably um, closed 50% of my clients are people like you that are here now and want to work with me. 50% of the people never made it to the event. But because they signed up for the event, I you know, message them, I look at their profile and say, ah, okay, this person is a good fit. So I make sure we follow up, we book a call and they still join. The system gives you a list of leads. Then it's up to you to turn those leads into sales calls and to new clients. What is the best first step of doing all this, Karen? The first best step is to click the link, leadershipmastery.com strategy call. And then we can look specifically for you what's the best first best step. Because I can say in general, the first step is to optimize your profile, but you may have a good profile. Or the first step would be to have a good LinkedIn profile, but actually you're missing like a good offer in your business or you're not clear on who you're targeting. So the first step for you may be to define your buyer persona and the problem that you solve for them. What is what people will have? What's the end result of working with you? If I give you money, what will I get in exchange? Because usually we think of that as like, what do you do? Like, for example, a teacher. What does a teacher do? A teacher teaches. But usually, and today's obvious, sadly, you know, a lot of children are then put on, on medication because they're not focused. The teacher forgets that her product, like the result of what she's supposed to do, is children who duplicate the material, apply it to create a better life for themselves and others. Because if you then focus on, okay, what will the other person have as a result of working with me? Instead of what am I going to do? You know, the outcome becomes much more clear and you can actually bring real value. So working with me, you will have a system and you will have 240 to 1,000 leads by the end of the year of people that are um, interested in what you have to offer and could become potential clients. Then it's up to you and I'll, I can support you. I can coach you. I can guide you how to close them. But the closing is up to you. Um, get attendees of LinkedIn events replays. You can. I don't always give the replays, but I will. Um, I will today. Uh, video one does, and audio one not. What's the main difference between Sales Navigator and LinkedIn Helper? Ah, uh, totally different. Sales Navigator is um, LinkedIn's paid membership. So also, if you don't have Sales Navigator, LinkedIn will allow you to, will restrict you a bit more. Obviously, if you're a free client, you're not really a client. So if you start sending connection requests. Um, or looking at profiles at a certain time after three or four days, they may say, okay, that's the maximum you've reached. Sometimes when you send a lot of messages, they may even restrict your account and saying that um, they suspect that you have an automation, which they can't, depending on which one you know, if you use the right one, they can't know some, they can. And so you definitely make sure you don't just use any automation tool because you can risk your LinkedIn um, account because they are not very happy with it. So you have to be very smart in the tools that you use. You need to understand. Then just do anything 
You need to understand how it works so that you can actually set it up and run it successfully. And this is what we, we went over, right? So one of them for Matthew was $12,000 in sale. We saw Dr. Chris's event, Supercharger Productivity, what he had 625 leads. And at the same time, by applying my success formula and the 48 people that showed up live, generated five new clients for him, which was $985 in direct sales. One person purchased his 75 on the program. So in total, it was 84.85 from his event. And so have a look and see if this sounds familiar to you. You actually need a time efficient system to generate leads consistently. Because it's not that you have, like I said, it's not that you're like, oh, I have two hours extra in my day. What shall I do? Let, let me generate leads. And I, you already have a very full program, but you know that your company, in order to grow, you need more leads. And your clients are on LinkedIn. If you know your clients are on LinkedIn, which is why you showed up here today, it's time for you to set up the system so you can actually grow. You want to be the leader in your industry and make an impact. And you know that LinkedIn is a huge opportunity for your company. So the question is, where do you start? Well, let me teach you how to build your own LinkedIn lead generation system. So go to the link leadershipmasteryin.com forward slash strategy call so you can apply to my exclusive LinkedIn event mastery program today and double your sales.